Hey guys, it's Jamie from Legend Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about sniper attachments in Battlefield 1 and how they seem to be a lot different than Battlefield 4 and previous Battlefield games. So today we got a bunch of new information on Battlefield 1, a bunch of the YouTubers who recorded even more gameplay during the alpha or pre-alpha stage at the Battlefield 1 event were able to share more info. And the closed alpha that they were at and the closed alpha that we were shown um, on Jack Frags' video actually turned out that that was just the footage recorded after the stream and there hasn't been an online closed alpha yet. However, that's rumored to be talked about next week, so don't forget to stay tuned to the channel for that news, but let's get right into the information. So what we saw so far are really that there's three different kinds of scopes. There's a range scope that comes standard on most of the weapons, and that's a six times scope or a round similar to the six times scope. And then there's an ACOG-ish scope. It's not really an ACOG, but it's similar to an ACOG because it's a little zoomed in, but it's also not a scope at the same time. And we have iron sights. So these different attachments actually change weapon traits, such as bullet velocity, range, and fire rate. Whereas in Battlefield 4, we were used to seeing attachment ch attachments change the recoil pattern and bullet spread. That's not to say that they won't still do that in Battlefield 1, but it adds a further emphasis on attachments in this game, and it shows us how valuable attachments can be to our weapons. So for example, on the Russian 1895 running the variant with a scope, it will inc decrease your fire rate than when compared to the variant without a scope. So the variant without a scope that runs iron sights of the Russian 1895's fire rate is almost twice as high as the other one, which is just absolutely insane. So these weapon variants aren't just slight attachment changes, they actually change the statistics of the weapon and how it will perform, which is really cool. And I like how they did that because it really makes it feel like there's just more than one specific weapon. Like each different variant is like a different gun and you'll have to choose a variant based on the play style, which is really interesting. So right now we know that there are eight snipers in Battlefield 1. Um, three of them are playable and three of them we've seen gameplay with. That's the Gewehr 98, the Russian 1895, and the SMLE Mark III or the Lee Enfield, as that one's also known. So those are the three, but there's five snipers that have let yet to be unlocked so far. Something that I think they could do interesting with these weapon variants, because they really do change up the weapon, is you get the base variant of the gun, and then you'd unlock certain weapon variants through completing assignments, which could be really cool, like get 100 kills with this gun, get 100 kills with a certain attachment, and then you'd unlock the variant. We also don't know if attachments themselves will change this, so if you're running a vari base variant of the gun, and you were able to take off the scope, would it change the statistics like a variant does? We don't know that yet because we haven't seen customization of weapons yet in the game. We've only seen the variants. I really hope there are weapon customization in this game. I hope it's not just variants. That would be absolutely terrible because I know they're trying to make this game somewhat simpler for newcomers. I just hope they don't take it too far. That'd be ridiculous if we didn't have customization, but I'm okay if the variants change the statistics a bit more than the actual attachments do, I'd be fine with that, but I hope we still get really in-depth weapon customization in this game, and the variants are just an easier way for people to get integrated with the weapons and the weapon systems in the game. This obviously occurs, um, the change in fire rate, because when you're using a rifle scope, your weapon's heavier, when you're running iron sights, your weapon's clean, and there's really nothing on it that would make it harder to handle so you can fire faster. That's the logic that I've taken from that, um, and I think it's a really cool system overall. Tell me what you guys think about that down below in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for much more Battlefield 1 content and the latest news on the game. But that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.